This week I was working on a New Year special. I wanted to see what would happen if I looked at my ecospheres and terraria under a black light. That's something that I've always wanted to know. Turns out nothing really happens. What does happen isn't visible on camera. The water just glows a bit. I was hoping to see cool hidden patterns on plants and animals. What I actually saw was something I didn't hope to see at all. I noticed the crab had died. At first I thought that it was a shed exoskeleton from when he molted. But no, it was a dead body. I have been away for a holiday for almost two weeks, so I'm not sure exactly when he died. But it looks like the crab died very recently. The crab accidentally got in the ecosphere when I was collecting water for the build. He was still plankton back then, but he was growing really fast. Here he was still in a zoe larva stage, but you could already clearly see it was turning into a real crab, with distinct claws and everything. In only a month, the crab had grown to over 10 times its previous size. He was now technically an adult crab. I was very surprised to see that it had grown to this huge size. As I mentioned before, only a few dozen of the tens of thousands of eggs a female crab lays make it into adulthood. So it was really special to see that this crab was walking around in the ecosphere as an adult. Now that the crab was in the ecosphere for a few months, I was thinking about releasing him back into the wild. But I ultimately decided that he would have a higher chance of surviving in the ecosphere. If I were to release him, I would have had to open the ecosphere, which would be a shame, but okay. Then I would have to catch it and transport it in salt water from the ecosphere, because there's no other salt water around. And then it would have had to survive a trip for a few hours. I honestly think that that would have killed it. So I decided not to, and he seemed to be doing great for months. The starfish disappeared a day after I made the ecosphere. From that point on, I've never seen the starfish or a dead body. By now, I'm 99.999999% sure it's dead. But for the crab's death, I have solid evidence. As I said earlier on in the video, I don't know exactly when the crab died. I also don't know exactly how it died, but there's a few possibilities. Maybe in the end, there wasn't enough food to feed the crab. So maybe it died of starvation. Or maybe there was a surplus of waste products or ammonia. Or maybe there was too little oxygen for the crab to breathe. I think the last two options are less likely though, as literally all other animals seem to be doing just fine. But maybe their size makes a big difference. If you have any idea what might have killed him, feel free to post it in the comments. Anyway, whatever it was, the crab is dead now. Now a new chapter in the history of this ecosphere begins. The ecosystem will react to a dead body from a relatively enormous animal. It will be quite interesting to see how the dead crab will be processed. If it will slowly rot away, or if little worms and crustaceans will eat it. Maybe new dominant species will appear and flourish in the ecosystem. Only time will tell. Whatever happens, we will be able to experience it all. So after five months, the crab died. Which is sad, but it isn't the end of the world. We get to witness the development of an ecosystem right in front of our eyes. Happy New Year! And thanks for watching.